Good morning, YouTube. It is seven o'clock exactly on Thursday morning, and I decided today that I'm gonna show you exactly our step-by-step -step on how we do our egg white oatmeal. Um, I wanted to do this as a complete run through so you can see every single step and like without any cuts, but I realized that editing or that uploading a video that's like five minutes long from my phone to Jamie's computer takes forever. So I'm going to stop and start the video, but I'm not going to do anything in between because I want you guys to get a true live real time look at how we make our egg white oatmeal. So. That's the only reason I'm cutting the video, okay? Anyways, let's get right to it. Today I am making a pumpkin spice oatmeal bowl. All right, so here are our ingredients. We've got our pumpkin spice mussel egg and our oats. Personally, I like to add a little bit more flavor. I'm kind of a flavor snob. Um, we've got hazelnut lovers and pumpkin pie spice. I actually don't always do this. Um, when I use the strawberry, the cake batter muscle egg, I never do this. I never add anything because it has plenty of flavor, but it is the season, it's fall. Might as well throw pumpkin spice in everything we eat. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to leave the camera filming and running and then as it's in the microwave, I'll explain kind of what I did because there are microwave times that I'll have time to explain, okay? So let's go. Oats first. I'm doing a full serving today. So that's 40 grams. Whoa, 40 grams exactly. Hello. <laughs> now we take it over and this is a really important step. Add water. Somebody tried to do it without water and just the muscle just egg. Just the muscle egg? And oh no, very work. dense. Very dense, no bueno. The wetter, the better, I always say. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for your input, Jam91. All right, I'm gonna tilt this so you guys can see You're better. The worst. Just enough water to cover your oats. Okay, so just enough water to cover your oats. Right now we don't have the um, like the quick oats. This is like old fashioned oats, so they're bigger. It depends on the texture that you prefer. The quick oats are a little bit smaller and cook faster in the microwave and they might need less water. This is where you guys get to have your like creative freedom in the kitchen. Cook your oats to the consistency you like, but make sure you cook them in the water first before adding your muscle egg. I microwave it for about a minute, and we'll wait that minute. Microwave about a minute, and then we're gonna add your egg whites. All right, so you can see the water's not totally gone and that's what I want because we're gonna microwave again and we still want a little bit of water in there. Add your serving of muscle egg and remember use your scale if you have one. We explain the importance of that, especially with the oats. I'm doing 175 grams today, which is about 0.75 of a serving. Protein bro? No, because it's pink week and she pulls my protein. Bruh. I can't have a full serving. Mix.
Back in the microwave, after mixing really well, you wanna make sure all of the egg whites and oaks are mixed together. Microwave another minute. Here's where it gets kind of important. And it's kind of, it's gonna be a trial and error. We didn't figure this out the very first time that we made our egg white oats bowls. Depending on how many egg whites you use is gonna change the amount of time that you microwave. You microwave less because you use less egg whites before oh. this week. Yes, it's and all, then you realize it was better with more egg whites. I used to use six. I used to use ninety, and now I use grams. One. Ninety grams, and now I use one hundred and twenty grams, which is half a cup, and it actually does make a difference. And if she was measuring out with weight, she would realize that one hundred and twenty grams is actually not half a serving. One hundred and seventeen grams is half a serving, which is the importance of weighing versus using measuring cups. All right, coming out of the microwave, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. This is really important. Ah, it's really hot. It's still wet in the middle, but that's okay. We're gonna mix it and we're gonna microwave again. You're still wet in the middle. YouTube for not safe for kids. It's okay to have these chunks. Just cut them up a little bit, mix it all in. This is why the mixing is so important. The egg whites are going to cook from the outside. When you mix it all together, they're gonna to cook more evenly. Another minute. Now, like I said, if you don't use as much muscle egg in the beginning, if you use less than, you know, three quarters of a cup, your microwave time the second time is gonna be a little bit shorter. The first time, a minute is good. Trust me, I've done it with a quarter cup, I've done it with half a cup. The first minute is important. It's the second where you could be like, mm, maybe I'll try just for half a minute. Maybe I'll try for 45 seconds. You can always do it longer and after mixing again. In about 15 seconds, I'll show you. Thick oat gang. Nailed it. Um, I wish you guys could smell this. Now's the time to add your favorite toppings. So like I said before, I'm gonna add um, a little bit of pumpkin spice just because why not? Basic. Um, I love Himalayan fine pink salt on my oatmeal. I think that paired with my peanut butter topping is like, that was a game changer for me adding salt to my oatmeal. Um, some of our other favorite toppings, of course, are the first form nut butters, cinnamon roll on top of pumpkin spice muscle egg, holy cow, this is game changer. And the macros for this are really good, so you're gonna get another little bump in protein and of course your healthy fats. Protein cookie butter, we are not sponsored by this, we actually bought this um, online, we bought four of them, but the flavors and the macros are the, of these are incredible when you're super low in fats and carbs flavor. I mean, yeah. This is my absolute favorite go-to almond butter. It is Maranatha coconut almond butter. I get it at Walmart. It's all raw, real ingredients, which I love, especially right now when I'm in prep. And of course, Jamie's go-to is the PB2. She, you rehydrate this before you put it in. Oh yeah, guys. Instead so of mixing it in. Cooking. The other these both come as a powder. It is your choice whether you would like to rehydrate it or not. I choose to and use it as a topping on my uh, 
oatmeal, as you see every morning on Instagram, but Katie just mixes the dry powder into her oatmeal. So there's a Jamie Filer approach, Katie Filer approach, whichever one you want. And your approach. Last but not least, Show them when the you, my absolute favorite. Okay, so I top my oatmeal with Himalayan pink salt, then I put my almond butter, and then when my carbs get high, the goat. Golden grams. Any crunchy cereal adds flavor, adds texture, and of course adds carbs when you are super high in carbs. I hope this helped, and if you still have questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or DM me. Now we get to go enjoy.